Jadron here. What is going on, guys? So we got the Spark, and I got something new for you. This is a DJI Mavic tablet holder. What? My Hobby Tiger. Well, how's this going to work? This is a Spark. This ain't a Mavic. Well, I got tricks. Um, we're going to go ahead, and we're going to set... We're just going to set this off screen here. We're going to set this off screen here. And we're going to bring this up. Bam, Zuka. Check it out, guys. Um, we're going to, maybe we could set that like that. Just have that chill. That way you guys can see the screen. Or I think the screen is actually adjustable on this. Slightly, maybe. Not really. Kind of. I need something to prop right there. Let's use our brain and get something to prop right there. Bam. Okay. So am I playing tricks? No, not playing tricks. Check it out. And that's an Amazon Fire, dude. That's Amazon Fire that's attached to this. And again, this is here. We're looking at the screen, multiple screens. Ah, um, it is connected. My Amazon Fire is connected to the Spark. Uh, the Mavic's holder is connected to the Spark. I'm going to show you how I did it. Uh, portability J drone with that big thing that kind of kills the portability. Let me show you. One, everything's in here, including this. Okay, this is actually right here. It's in this little velvet bag they gave you. I'll just show you there's no trickery. Bamzo, there it is. Um, I did have to mod this just a little bit. If you can see right here, I had to snip this piece right out there. But then it fits. So we're just going to go ahead and stick that back in there. And it's a snug fit, but it fits. And then our touchpad, which we will lift that up. That way there's no trickery either. Bam. A touchpad is up top right here so i'm still even with the extra gear the extra pad the extra the extra mount i'm still in my same case um i'm just gonna pull this apart bam so there so there's no trickery amazon fire dude um and we're just going to set this aside now this we're gonna pull that open pull this open okay this unthreads off of here. I'm kind of giving you a backwards setup of this. And threads. This will pop out of there. And the way it came in the box was this thread was on here. I'll reassemble this again. Just so we're not completely backwards. So this is disassembly. Um, and then this... This is how you get it in the box. Uh, I believe maybe something like that. Or no, actually it was exactly like this. That's how it was in the box. And uh, you get a little velvet case for it. But this is how you set it up. Just go ahead and pop this off of here. And again, this is meant for the Mavic. Let's see. These push upwards. Push up push up and then it makes that little ball that that's going to pivot off of and i think ideally they want you to set these over the mavic's uh controllers so you have it like that i don't know that i trust that even if i did have the mavic um just to be completely honest with you guys then you're going to unthread this and then we will unthread unthread you want to basically unthread it so are we tightening it now Unthread, 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 unthread. We are unthreading and unthreading. Bam. You want to unthread it so it's basically, it drops on there. Then you connect this, it'll snap on. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to come over here. And then we want to thread this again. So, give me two seconds, guys. Try to do this on camera for you, if possible. There we go. And just thread that on there. That's going to lock that on there. Ready, 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 thread, thread. Of course, you want it tight because you don't want your uh, you don't want your pad going anywhere. So, again, this isn't going to fit over these because it just doesn't fit. These are wide enough. You can open that up wide enough to get this to sit nicely in there. To sit real nice in there, and you just clamp this down. And obviously, you probably want it a little bit straighter than when I have it, which you can adjust that then. Bam, that's it. And we'll go ahead and throw our pad on top of there. And again, so no trickery, 
This is Amazon Fire. I'm gonna go ahead and put the side in first, and then bam. There we go. Um, and again, we are seeing what the spark sees. Weak GPS aircraft. So uh, really cool, dude. Um, this will enable better FPV flights as opposed to using uh, a small cell phone. And there you go. There's a good look at it. And we'll just lift this up. Have a little look in the drone room. As you can see, there's no lag. I mean, if there is lag, it's not noticeable. But um, this should be good to go. Guys, I'm J Drone. If you haven't subscribed, do me a favor. Smash that subscribe button. And uh, this is what we're looking at here uh, i'll put a link for this down below i think this is super cool because again this is this is what i use for my phantom um and it works good with the dji app i haven't had any issues with it if you have apple apple works best with dji but if you have amazon fire you could use it all right guys if you haven't subscribed please do take care